Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take a lot of guts. I got more. I got more stuff. I just, you know, tested it out. You know, what I mean, yeah. I got some stuff that's uh, you know. a lot of guts to come up here, make us all jealous about these girls. <laughs> and his vaginas. There's more stories. Uh, There's more stories. Right. Yeah. Coming back to the stage, we have uh, uh, our queen, or the the owner of this uh, establishment. Please make some noise once again for Deb Bojman. Yeah, I, I hope I don't put you to sleep. <laughs> Early onset has begun. Huh? So, uh, uh, Vita gave me another joke. She said, uh, is Patrick's baby working? So, um, uh, I was, at, we saw a baby today. So I had, uh, we, it was, at, uh, um, we were at a, Burger King, and uh, so I said to the baby's um, mother, is your baby working? And the father was fast. He goes, uh, he can't even sleep through the night. So, uh, that, but a lot of people who can't sleep through the night, they still go to work. The baby's got to work, make a living. <laughs> Patrick's baby. Uh, because uh, he can't go to work because he burps a lot, you know, he's got the hiccups. And uh, he's incontinent. <laughs> Uh, and uh, he can't even stand up. Patrick, what's the matter with your baby? <laughs> he can't stand up. He falls down all the time. Maybe a baby. He's like me. I hope he falls down. Oh, baby. 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 Yeah. So, uh, uh, also traveling across the country. Well, across the country, but we went from Muskoka to Montreal. And uh, you see a lot of variety stores. And, uh, I, I always have to like, I'm getting new ideas now because it's Christmas time and uh, we saw the gummy bears are red and green and the licorice is like, um, uh, it's like uh, candy canes. They got a licorice like candy canes. So these are all good ideas for me for my store. Yeah. And um, yeah, we also saw uh, Christmas cards. I got, I got getting ideas for Christmas cards. Uh, actually, I had a comedian, David Chukin. He has some, he's Jewish, but he's very good at Christmas cards. So, you got to pull those out too. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, getting, getting lots of ideas. Um, so, uh, I saw there's wine in Quebec. Why not some wine in Canada, in Toronto? I mean, in Ontario. Yeah. Um, and um, uh, I, I can say, that this week too in my convenience store, uh, that people are coming for all kinds of things. And uh, they ask for cigarettes. And uh, uh, do you have any Benson Hedges? No. Do you have any Du Maurier's? No. Do you have any John Players? <laughs> John Players? <laughs> no. What do you have? Yeah. We, I said, uh, we. We don't have uh, anything, really. So that's too bad. Uh, yeah. Um, anything you want, we don't have it. And, uh, but that's maybe good because people, like, they don't have to read Ernie's book. Just quit smoking. So, uh, yeah. And um, um, uh, there's a lot of open mics tonight because we, we posted today and there's so many open mics that one guy volunteered to make a schedule of all the different open mics. And uh, guess what? We're not on the schedule! <laughs> Maybe because I'm so bipolar or tripolar, but at least I know where those voices are coming from. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, uh, Mo said, why don't I complain on, on trauma stand up and say something like, you know, what about me? But uh, I, I can't commit. Um, I, I, one of these days I might be committed, but I can't commit. So, um, uh, yeah. And uh, it was also, I also um, say that I, I do this because I, I don't get invited to do shows. But I did do a few shows. I was, uh, I did tour a bit in my day. I toured to the Winnipeg. I went to the Regal Beagle. But uh, they... Uh, they didn't like the comic that I brought, 
uh, and his name is Rob Clifford, and they didn't like Rob Clifford, so they didn't want to pay me, so I was guilty by association. And then another time, yes, I was, I performed at a bar called The Only One. I was the only one that got booed. <laughs> and another time I performed at a place called, well, we can all go there later, called The Groove Bar, and I got the uh, Streaker Award, so. <laughs> He's there for flashing my booth. Adrian Sawyer didn't do that. Yeah, uh, well, um, and then another time, uh, well, about Deb's comedy, Dan, I was figuring, you know, I should have had some mementos, I should have had some photos of all the different comics, or at least have a plaster bust, but, uh, but instead we just went bust. <laughs> but I do have a story, Patrick and I were in Denmark, and Denmark is the most easygoing, laid-back place, and we were in an Italian restaurant, and I was kind of bored, so I just uh, I climbed um, onto a chair. I took down this uh, Grecian bust, and uh, I broke the nose. But it's okay; it needed a nose job. It was great. We made a movie of it. Remember? It was really good. Yeah, movie. we made a little film of that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is my set for now, and uh, I'm gonna bring back Ernie. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if no one else comes, he is our headliner. Are you ready? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> our first headliner is uh, to an all over Richmond now. He's here for us tonight. Please make some noise. For your headliner, Jason Liu. I know that guy that made that list. Uh, I'll tell him to put you on. Yeah. Because he bases it off that uh, other doc they have in T-Sucks. So I'll, I'll tell him to put you on. Oh, who's the guy? Some, some, he, David Noble. He's like an amateur comedian. Yeah. David who? David Noble. Noble? Noble, yeah. That was Noble. That's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell him to put you on, though. Good yeah. Job. That's good job. Moses, man, that was, uh... Your friends, they, they go really far to play a joke on you, eh? <laughs> man, I wish my friends did that. My friends just do the, your flies open joke, you know? Like, man, how did he approach it? No, it's like, pretty serious, yeah, yeah. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl, I'll take it. <laughs> so desperate yeah. I am. So, uh, um, yeah, we were talking about dogs earlier, right? And yeah, I never had a dog, because uh, I, I, was, I, was, I was raised in a restaurant, Right, so <laughs> Chinese restaurant. <laughs> you know? So if anything ever happened to the dog, the town would question us. They'd be like, "Really? The, the dog got sick? We just saw it yesterday, okay? And what's this new menu item on special?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, they probably would do it. They're, they're, they're nice people in that small town. Very nice people. But uh, yeah, I smoke. I smoke. You guys are talking about smoking. I don't think I'll ever quit. <laughs> but when I do quit, I will try everything. I'll try cold turkey. Uh, I'll even try hot turkey, which is delicious. But I'll try that as well. <laughs> you guys know what hot turkey, hot turkey is? Hot turkey? Oh, it's like uh, we had it by a parents' restaurant. It's like diner food. It's like a piece of bread. You throw turkey and then gravy on it. We call it hot turkey. Yeah, diner food. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Don't ask me why a Chinese restaurant serving diner food. <laughs> Chinese, I don't know why a Chinese restaurant is serving diner food. Diner, diner. Yeah. Hot turkey. Maybe no hot turkey? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's delicious, right? There's hot hamburger yeah. and hot, what else? Yeah, hot meatloaf. Bread and meatloaf. Bread and hot sex on bread. Yeah. I just made that up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, did you guys hear about the, what happened? Yes, was it yeah, today or yesterday? When they caught that guy that was throwing feces at those college students, yeah, and he ran away laughing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, he threw feces. He went to two universities. He went to York University and then Toronto University, 
and he would like throw feces at the kids and then he'd laugh and run away. Yeah, they finally caught him and they put him in jail. You know? Imagine if, this, if that happened in the 90s though, it would be different, you know? If that happened in the 90s, they would put him on Jackass the TV show. <laughs> they would. Do you remember Jackass? Remember Johnny Knoxville? There's one episode he went into a hardware store and he literally took a dump in a fake toilet. Yeah! <laughs> That's the same guy. That, he's pretty much doing the same thing. You know? Oh, he gets hard. Yeah, man. Jackass, I love Jackass. I remember, I, yeah, I love that show. These guys are too old now, though. You know? No, Deb, stop it. You're back. Sit <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dad. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, what else can I talk about? Here, we'll miss you if you break yourself. Mm. I thought she was going to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know I use the washroom? You, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to use the washroom. You don't have to stay from my set. I'm not going to make you laugh anyway. No. <laughs> that's how bad I am. You're like, oh, I'm going to go to sleep right now. No. <laughs> just going to jump off the roof. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. I remember that time you jumped off the roof. Yeah, you almost gave me a heart attack. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and the mattress was like this then. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah, crazy. Deb, you should be on Jackass. That's that's crazy. That's like crazier than Johnny Knoxville. Old lady, old lady stunt. Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't have any females in Jackass. They're very sexist. You guys are sexist. I see. I've been working on some. Uh, so. <laughs> but yeah, like Brad Pitt. When Brad Pitt was on Jackass, he put that gorilla yeah, outfit on. Yeah, he put a, what, what they, well, originally Jackass, um, what they did was they fake kidnapped Brad Pitt in front of, like, a, a, people in the movie theater. They didn't know that it was a fake kidnapping, and it was funny, but like, Brad Pitt just got kidnapped. And, like, no one stopped it, too. Like, um, Where was that, in LA? Uh, something like that, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see, I, uh, I, I, I've been working on some, some old stuff and making it better, so I'm going to. I should say this. Uh, let's see. Um, tell you a little bit about myself. If you guys know me, uh, let's see. Uh, growing up, my parents had a, a family-run Chinese restaurant. Yeah, I had a tough childhood. Real tough childhood, man. While other kids were victims of bullying, I was a victim of child labor. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I was man. like forget uh, anti bullying. I wish my school had an anti uh, child labor program. <laughs> man, I'm serious. Yeah, when I was young, my parents took me to work at a, a very young age. You know, I was washing dishes before I learned how to wash myself. How many kids did that? Yeah, when I was a kid, I thought two in one shampoo was for washing hair and dishes. Nope, nope, no. And uh, we lived in the restaurant too. Yeah, we lived in the restaurant. Yeah, it was home. You know, a lot of sweet memories of that place. I remember my mom reading me bedtime stories. My favorite book was uh, the restaurant menu. You remember that? Man? That's a good book, hey? Oh man. <laughs> yeah, that's all I have. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been working on that. Yeah. Hey, Ian, you said uh, you were in Markham? Yes, my son. He's oh, yeah. School in Markham. Mm, interesting. A lot of Asians in Markham. Yeah. They, yeah. A lot. Sexy Asians. <laughs> you got a yellow fever over there. <laughs> you know, I think there's so many Asians in Markham that, uh, that white people probably think the Hong Kong protests are in Markham. <laughs> they, probably think, they probably think it's an intersection, right? Yeah, I'm gonna stay away from Highway Seven and Hong Kong Boulevard. That's all these Asians are fighting over there. Uh, but yeah, a lot of a lot of Asians. A lot of, I think I, Markham has so many Asians that I think eventually the town is gonna enforce the one child policy in Markham. <laughs> <laughs> you know, see, there's a white family that moves into Markham. They're like, what? I'm not even Asian. Why do I have to? Come on. Like, no, you're a Markham resident. It applies to everybody. I'll drown that baby or I will. <laughs> that's dark. <laughs> uh, that's really dark. Hong Kong protest. 
Uh, have you guys been keeping up on Crop Death? No? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's just fighting. One thing I like about that, like, uh, it, Hong Kong protest is bad, right? It's bad. But one thing I think is really good that, that no one's talking about is that the Hong Kong protest is showing the whole world that not all Asians know martial arts. Because <laughs> seriously, they're fighting, you know what I mean, on TV, and if they're fighting, you know, like, uh, a cop doesn't need a gun to kill a protester. If you do martial arts, you would do the five finger of death, you know? Anyways, guys, thanks very much for listening to me. Let's welcome back our great host, Ernie. Uh, hey, uh, Jason Liu. Jason Liu from Waterloo. Where are you from there? <laughs> uh, well, I guess nobody else showed up. Where's Andy? Andy. He's busy. He gave us a thumbs up. Yeah. Well, at least you gave there are a lot of thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah, you gave a thumbs up. So I thought, I thought everyone's coming. I invited Jamie. Jamie Z. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I think he had another show. He wanted to come. Yeah. But, um, so nice. All right. What happened with the Asian show with uh, that uh, uh, shy with the home? Oh, I don't know.